Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to discuss on how we can create a new product and sell the product in the website. So let me go to the website. And under the e-commerce tab, you have the option to select the products. So let me select the products and here you can see the different views of the product. So this is the Kanban view. And if you want to change the view to list view, you can see the list view of the products that is created. And you have the option to create a new product. So let me create a new product. And you, here you can give the name of the product. And if you want to make it as favorite product, you can star this product. So if you go to the general information tab, you can see the product types. You can add the product type for your product. So depending on the product, you can add the type for the product you are creating. And you can also add the invoicing policy for the products. So you have different invoicing policy. So on the needs, depending on the needs, you can set the invoicing policy for the product. You can add the unit of measure and the purchase UMO, UM. And here in the sales price, you can add the sales price for the product. So let me add the sales price for the product. You can see the sales price for the product which I have set. And you can add the customer taxes. You can see you have the field to add the tax cloud categories. And if you go to the cost, you can add the cost of the product. And you also have the field to add the categories for the product. And if you have any barcode for the product, you can add the barcode. And you can add the company in which this product is made to be available. And if you leave it as blank, it will be available for all the companies. And if you go to the attributes and variance, you can add the attributes. So let me add an attribute color and here you can add the values for the product. So let me add the values. And after that, if you go to the sales tab, you have the option to set the upselling and cross selling here. You can add the uh, optional products for the product you are creating. And here, if you go, you can add the accessory products. So this increases the cross selling of the business. So let me add the accessory products for the product which I'm creating. So the customer while purchasing this product would be informed about the accessory products that is available for this product. And if you want to add the alternative product for the product you can also add the alternative product for the products which you are creating and if you go to the e-commerce shop here you have the option to set the website for the product and you can add the website in which this product is made to be available and you can also add the categories from here and if you want the product to be available in the POS you can add the option you can tick this checkbox and you can see the categories you can add the categories from here in the POS and if you go to the purchase tab you have the option to add the vendors and you can also add the control policy for your receipt in purchase and if you want to add any note or description for your product in the purchase you can add the note from here if you go to the inventory tab, you have the option to select the routes for your operations. And under the logistics, you have different fields where you can set the logistics for your product. That is the weight, volume, manufacturing lead time. So you can give all the logistic informations for your product from here. And going here you can see the descriptions for the receipt. You can add the note for the description for your receipts and here you can add the description for the delivery orders. And let me go to the accounting tab. You can add the receivable accounts and the payable accounts. You can add it from here. And you can also add the email template. So if you set the automatic email at invoice, you can add the email template template so this email template will be sent to the uh, sent to the customer so after that 
let me save the product and let me go to the website so let me go to the website from here and going to the website you can see the product which you have created and if you want to publish this in your website you can publish this in your website so let me publish it clicking on it would make you available to publish this product to the website and you can add this product to the cart and you can also see the colors here the color variants which we have set and let me add this product to the cart adding to the cart you can see the available options here you can see the optional products for a product and let me proceed to the checkout so before that let me just add the product to the cart and you can see the suggested accessories here for the product you can see the accessory products so let me proceed this to the checkout and you can proceed this product to the checkout and you can add the delivery method you can add the payment method from here and you can do the payment for the product you have created as you can see you have done the payment and the sale order has been created and now i'll be showing you how to create the product from the front end as we have created the product from the back end i'll show you how to create the product from the front end so for that let me go to the website module and here you have the option to create new and you can create a new product you can give the name of the product and let me save this product after saving it you can see the product is created and if you want to do any edits okay if you want to upload the upload the image you can upload the image from here so let me upload the image you can upload it as you can see the image is uploaded and if you want to edit the name of the product you can edit the name of the product and if you want to edit the sales price of the product you can edit the sales price of the product from here and let me save this product as you can see this product is unpublished so let me publish it in my website and if you can add this product to the cart so i have added this product to the cart and you can proceed this product to the checkout and you can do the same for the pay now so this is how you create and sell your products and website of od16 that's all for today thank you